what's going on everybody welcome to my youtube channel if you've never been here before if you have been welcome back as you can see we're outside today um it's finally starting to get a little bit warmer in western new york which is awesome uh so i wanted to do the video outside but this video is really just kind of getting letting you guys get to know me and a little bit more about my bike and what I've done to the bike and some plans that I have for the bike in the future. So as you know, I'm Buffalo Harley chick, but my real name is Alicia. I'm 35 years old and I am five feet two inches. So pretty short rider, which makes for some interesting rides depending on what kind of bike I'm on. But as you know, I ride my 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide, which is a great bike. Uh, especially for somebody that is my height, it does sit a little bit lower and has a lower center of gravity, so it makes it really easy to be able to maneuver the bike around. So uh, a little bit about me, uh, I have been riding all together for about six years on my own motorcycle. My very first bike was a 1985 Honda Shadow 750. It was a great first bike. It was a little tall for me, but I managed to get around it pretty well. Um, it was a lot of fun. It really even more ignited my passion for motorcycles. And my second bike was actually a 2011 Harley Davidson Sportster Nightster. I absolutely loved that bike. It was obviously my first Harley that I ever purchased. It was a great size bike. I hadn't ridden for several years, so getting back on that bike was very comfortable for me. Uh, it was pretty fast, it sounded amazing, and it was the most beautiful blue color I've ever seen on the motorcycle. Um, had that bike for a few years and started going on longer distance trips. So my first really long motorcycle trip on that bike was from here in Western New York to Rhode Island. And as I was riding, I was finding there was more that I needed out of my bike that that bike just wasn't gonna be able to give me. Um, it did a great job. I was able to make it there and back, uh, no problems, but I definitely was finding I needed more storage. Uh, cruise control was definitely something that I was finding that I needed just because I do have bad wrists from working on computers for 20 plus years. So um, I started doing research on this bike. Uh, what I love about my Sport Glide is the stuff that just comes standard on the bike. It has a USB port right in the front of the bike so I can be charging my phone while I'm on the road. It also came with the hard uh, saddle bags, which is excellent for storage. Don't have to ride around with a backpack or anything anymore. And it comes standard with cruise control, which was an absolute game changer. Uh, no more worrying about my throttle hand getting crampy or anything like that. I can, you know, just kind of put my hand down, relax, and get back on the throttle if I need to. Um, I had been riding as a passenger for many years and just never really had the time or the money to be able to put myself through a motorcycle course and actually own a motorcycle. So I was lucky enough that my stepfather had been riding for a long time. He had a Sportster and he really just reignited uh, my passion for motorcycles. And I was like, look, just do the class. It's a hundred bucks. It's a couple weekends and then you'll be able to get your license. So I did. And I'm forever grateful for him for kind of pushing me into taking that class because the class kind of changed my life. <laughs> um, obviously I've had multiple motorcycles. I think between all of them, I've put about 35,000 miles on my bikes over the course of the six years that I've ridden. And I've had so many amazing adventures and seen wonderful places and experienced things that I never would have done if it wasn't for being out on two wheels. Not to mention all the people that I've met. Uh, I have some amazing friends who I can ride with, I can talk motorcycles with, um, we can work on our bikes together. So it's just been a huge, huge blessing to be part of the motorcycle community. And I really hope that some of my videos help people out there realize like this is something you can do. It's not something you have to be afraid of. And the biker community is 
overwhelmingly welcoming. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little bit about me. Um, I did grow up in Rhode Island and now I live in Western New York. So I do travel between the two quite a bit. But if you want to know more about me, uh, go ahead and post some comments in the below and I'll be sure to answer any comments that you have. If you like these types of videos, then maybe we'll do another one when we hit a thousand subscribers. Um, but that's enough about me. Let's go ahead and go over the bike. So here is my beautiful 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. I did buy this brand new in 2021 and everything on it was stock. So anything custom on here you see, I have actually personally done with a little bit of help here and there. Um, but we'll start on the front of the bike. So one of the things that I did was I did go ahead and change out the handlebar grips to the Willie G black grips. Um, I am not really a fan of chrome, which is bike has a lot of chrome and I've been slowly working on switching out some of the chrome pieces for black Willie G accessories where I can find them. Down here on the left side of the bike, I do have the Willie G shifter peg. And then I also went with Kiriakin mini floorboards. These things have been wonderful. The original pegs, which are just like the passenger pegs in the back, were just very uncomfortable on the arch of my foot when I was on long rides. And I said, you know what? I really need floorboards. I wanted to get the full size Willie G floorboards, but I really just couldn't find them. I could just find the chrome ones and we know I don't like chrome. So I went with the Kiriakins. These things are wonderful. They were very easy to install on the bike. I think it took about 15 minutes to get both of them on there and it's really nice because I can just move my foot all over the place on the boards and kind of rest my feet in front of the boards if I want to stretch out a little bit more which has been great. Next thing I did was I did the Willie G primary cover. Um, that again very very easy job that took all of five minutes. It's really just unscrewing the bolts on there and then putting the new ones on so really easy. I also, because I am short, have one of the Harley Davidson reach seats. It does probably put me about, I would say, inch and a half to two inches more forward towards the handlebars. Um, and my legs sit nice and comfortable with my forward controls. So I really like them. Obviously, you guys know that I installed my quick release sissy bar, which has been great. Um, haven't really tested it with any luggage yet, but with Babes Ride Out coming up in less than four weeks, uh, that will be put to the test very shortly. For the gas tank, I did put the Willie G. This is the actual gas cap. This one is just decorative, um, so I bought the matching one, so it looks symmetrical. I'm very anal about that. <laughs> and then on this side, we do have the Willie G air filter cover. That was weird. I really thought that <laughs> these would bolt in, but it does not. It actually doesn't have any threaded screw holes to put the screws in. So I just put 3M tape and I've had that on there for over a year and it's held up really, really well. So I'm excited about that. And then we also have the Willie G brake pedal over on this side. Uh, I really like the Willie G. I'm a big fan of it. So that's kind of where we're going with as far as the theme on this bike. As far as future modifications that I want to do on the bike, I actually have a new part that just came in this past week. I am going to put some four inch risers on. Uh, those bars are pretty wide and pretty far forward. So I do have the tendency to kind of lean forward and down a little bit and it does cause a lot of pressure uh, between my shoulder blades. So I want to get taller bars, but they're very expensive and I would have to change out all of my cables. And I want to see if I could do something a little bit less expensive to kind of combat that. So I did buy the Harley Davidson four inch risers. I will be doing an install video on that this week, which I will release next Sunday. So check that one out if you want to see how to install those. 
it does look like a pretty easy job. Uh, I'm hoping it goes well and doesn't take too long. And I'll probably end up riding right after just to kind of test them out. But that's really all I have for this video. Uh, pretty short video today, but I wanted you guys to kind of get to know me because everybody that subscribes or watches my videos, I really feel like you guys are my friends. So that's, that's it for today. Um, again, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you have an opportunity. You can also hit the, hit the bell for any future notifications. And until my next one, you take care and keep the shiny side up.